Hi, I'm Steve Robertson from the Fleurio Festival of Sport, and uh, we're here to talk about a very exciting event that's coming up on Sunday right here at Warland Reserve, and that is a festival that will involve hundreds, literally hundreds, of outstanding athletes. And with me is Trevor Mayhew, who's the chair of the FFS. G'day, Trevor. Uh, why is the Fleurio Festival so important? Well, we've got a wonderful environment here for sports. We've got many sporting facilities and uh, some great venues. Um, and this is really good for our economy, for our tourist economy. And it's all about attracting people to different ranges of sports, which will go on all day on Wallen Reserve. So it should be really exciting. And I understand you've got some potential Olympians for archery as well. Yes, archery, we're, uh, it's a unique place, Victor Harbour. We actually have two Olympians. We've, in fact, we've got three international uh, archers in this town and uh, they're also looking for places in their international competition this year. Trevor, I understand uh, fitness clubs will be playing a very important part in the festival of sport this year. Well, they will. In fact, we've got one of our major clubs that will be on wall and reserve, uh, handing out brochures, leaflets, doing some demonstrations on fitness. Fitness in our community is particularly important since over half our population, uh, in fact, nearly half our population is over 65. They're retirees, so flexibility and strength is very important for their health. Now, I understand that future Olympians might be here in a couple of the sports. Tell us about that. Yeah, two of our major sports. One is pole vaulting, which has been put on by the uh, Athletics SA. Uh, and pole vaulting is such a spectacular event. And uh, some of those athletes are vying for uh, better performances and and hopefully get a position in international teams, even the Rio Olympics. What I find amazing is the number of people from the Adelaide area that are coming to run. Tell us about the Granite Island Run. Oh, this is really unique. This is starting eight o'clock on Saturday morning. Uh, this goes across the causeway, round Granite Island. Uh, two events run coupled together. We've got a five and a 10K. That's something just hasn't been done here before. And this is a way of really stimulating our economy because a lot of those runners come here, they like to see everything else that happens in the town, and they're prepared to stay for the weekend. We don't mind. In the background here is the uh, iconic and uh, quite spectacular uh, Victor Harbour tram, usually pulled by a horse, but this time there's going to be something different. Very different today. This is a tram push, and uh, this whole arrangement here is the only horse tram drawn in the Southern Hemisphere, and uh, this is a relay. So two men, two women, mixed, will push the tram a couple hundred metres, then another two come out uh, from a transition point and push it, and so on, and right across the causeway, it's a time trial. Then we've got another team on the other side, they'll push it back. <laughs> and uh, we're in a position, very fortunate here in Victor Harbour, that we have beautiful lakes and a beautiful beach and the ocean right nearby. Uh, what events involve those uh, attributes? Well, on Encounter Lake, we've got uh, a, a, uh, the Dragons. Dragon Boat Club has got a, a team coming down from Adelaide, very good team. Uh, we're putting up a trophy, Fleur Fest supporters putting up a trophy, not just for them, but for some of the other events as well. So it's a bit inspirational, I think, and uh, a lot of people have never seen dragon boating, and boy, do they go. It's really, really good and really fast to watch. Great spectator sport. And the beach? We have volleyball and uh, we've also got surf life setting. Now we do and uh, the volleyball people are putting on a demonstration. I think they're actually having a competition as well. Well thanks very much for that Trevor. It's all happening here, Warland Reserve, Sunday beginning at about um, 8 a.m. And don't forget that uh, dragon boat race that's happening in the afternoon on Saturday. It's all free so we'd love to have you come down here and join us for all the fun.